Hey everyone, it's Thursday morning's devotional and it's following the light because we've been following the light uh, one day at a time and the light is Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And we're going through the book of John one chapter at a time because as we follow after Jesus, then he illuminates our path. And John 14 is just packed full of so many powerful truths as Jesus talks about heaven at the beginning of John 14 and how heaven is real. And he is the light of the world that lights heaven. Uh, then we get into uh, Jesus talking about how he and his father are one. If you've seen me, you've seen the father. And uh, talking about that he is the son of God. Um, but then here's what I want to really focus on today. As we follow the light. In verse 13 of John chapter 14, Jesus says, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the father may be glorified in the son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. What an amazing promise. Jesus says, you may ask for anything in my name, and I will do it. Anything in my name. Well, the first thing we want to look at is, what does it mean to pray in his name? It's not just adding Jesus' name at the end of your prayer, saying, in Jesus' name, amen. No, in Jesus' name means that you align yourself with his character that you're walking in the light, that you're obeying his commands. And when you begin praying in Jesus' name, your will begins to line up with God's will. God, God's will doesn't come over and line up with my will. My desires start changing to be God's desires. And Jesus answers my prayers. And I know that um, many times, though, I don't ask. And Jesus said, you have not because you ask not. And so he wants us to ask. It's so important to ask. Um, I, I think it's so important before you make any major decision to pray. There have been times that I've made decisions that I didn't pray about, and it never ends well. And so God wants us to pray about every little thing, every big thing, and we can ask, what is it that you need today for the glory of God? What do you need? Pray and ask, and ask in his name. And there are times that, um, you know, I'm walking with the Lord, I'm seeking the Lord, and I'm praying, and he doesn't answer it right away, but wait is not a no. You know, when uh, with my kids when they were little, and they say, Dad, can I eat this um, uh, sweet? You know, can I eat this dessert? No, not now, wait. I didn't say no, period. I said, just wait. After you eat your meal, then you can have that. And so uh, sometimes we see that God is, putting us in the waiting room of life and we're having to wait for something, but it doesn't mean no. And he wants us to be persistent in those prayers. Um, and sometimes God has something better for us. When you're walking in his will and you're seeking him, you can pray, Lord Jesus, this is what I need. This is what I want. And you ask it in his name. Um, and sometimes that's not what he has for you. And I don't understand it completely, but I know this, there's always something better. That, and we don't understand it completely. But he has a plan, and he knows better, and he knows best, and God wants you to have his best. So you're asking today, ask, and he says, you'll receive when you ask in my name. He said, until now, you haven't really asked, but now it's time to start asking. You can ask Jesus Christ and come to him in his name. Walk in the light as he is in the light, because right after that, he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So to walk in the light means that we obey him, knowing that he knows what's best for us. So let's obey him today. Let's listen and obey, and then let's pray and obey. Hey, God bless you. Have a great day. Let's keep following the light.